welcome everyone the topic for the day is human resource management we will essentially cover everything that needs to be covered under human resource management remember this is the gamut in which the organizational behavior believes in as in theories and the enactment out here in the organization of the corporate world would be under the department of management so basically defined as employing people developing their resources deploying them remember deploying is the very important thing because the exact marriage between the person and the job skill will means productivity if there is a mismatch the productivity will not be optimum at any resources at any case so utilizing maintaining and probably compensating for the services in tune with the job and the organizational requirement that is what is all, uh, human resource management is all about it the component is of recruitment and selections training and development performance management compensation benefits and talent management so what we are looking into it we are looking to engage the talent or the employees we are trying to obtain them as for in in terms of rec uh, recruitment and selection developing them towards the requirements of the organization monitoring and probably giving a feedback with their performances with the good employees the productive employees would be rewarded incentivized and so on and so forth so basically we obtain develop monitor reward and engage what the various functions of human resource management is recruitment training performance management compensation and talent management so essentially talking about employing people developing their resources managing and utilizing their services and in lieu compensating them right so these are the essential five functions that we look at into as an hr under the ambit we have the acquisitions hr acquisition is all about recruitment all about selection all about placement so we will be talking about this we'll talk about the hr development def definitely known as human resource development looking at overall upgradation in terms of career planning in terms of training and development and organizational development look what did the word keyword i said upgradation of employees will comply under human resource development talking about performance and compensation we talk about the performance management as to give them a feedback as to how good bad ugly they are performing and based upon it the carrot and the stick approach needs to be done for motivation now how do we do with the carrot and the stick approach is the incentivize or benefits that can be meted to the people who are performing optimally next is motivation and maintenance now this is very very pertinent because people or should i say human being get bored with mundane tasks very very quickly so that is what we need to go around it now instead of instructing them can we empower them and this will make their job a little enriching experiences we'll talk about the health and safety around here the human resource mobility or should i say cross training and cross functional abilities probably creating motivating employees and motivating environment that is pertinent that is most importantly when we see people are performing as a team nothing like said last but not the least is the relations industrial relations i'm talking about we're talking about the grievances handling the disciplinary measures and the dispute if any these needs to be managed the mg stands for managing now how do we go around it these are the five things hr acquisition hr development performance and compensation motivation and maintenance human resources and relation what do they give they give me a data for hris or human resource information system they will teach me how to upgrade myself and do with the help of a research this is all about accounting as far as the recruitment selection cost is concerned benefits is concerned salary disbursement is concerned and last but not the least would be your auditing part that comes and work the previous slide we spoke about the nature of hrm which is the part of the management being pervasive people oriented future oriented and so forth within the scope of uh, capacity of hrm what we are looking at it so here we go around here talking about the differences the one of the major differences that comes with the personal management and the human resource management now remember this is about the past practices that we go around it wherein this is the future practices that we look into it so the personal management earlier thing is was the managing of the people being employed now things have changed been 
not employees where but we are managing their skills their knowledge but their abilities we are not interested in managing employees any any longer that it was too generalized and now it become very specific so employees are treated as an economic entity and in terms of a salary or services that has been given out here if you look into the past performances or that dichotomy in the personal management with respect to the human resource management is all about a bit about it in the human resource management we not only treat them as an economical but also as a sociological and psychological being entity that we are looking into it employee in personal management are viewed as a tool but out here it is as a resources that we look into it we the employees are no longer a means to an end but probably they are one one of the vital component of the production that we are looking at similarly similarly in personal management employees are treated as cost centers yes as because they have been asked to pay salaries or they are demanding certain incentive but out here they are known as a profit center because here we are looking at the resources out here so therefore we believe in investing in human resources the employees We're talking about the employees and organization as a benefit now remember benefits are mutual not only the employee gets a benefit from the employees the even organization gets benefited also in terms of productivity and efficiency personal function is only auxiliary and not primary but in hrm it is a primary functions of the management it is always short term in personal by management but in longer term perspective we talk about human resource management so this is the broader differences about the personal management and human resource management remember to watch this video in loop to understand the differences out here objective let us say what exactly is the objective of an organization first and foremost thing is to help the organization achieve its goal now how do we go around it is by employing skills and abilities of the workforce in a timely oriented and effective fashion provide the organization with a well trained and motivated so you need to have a qualified staff you need to have a skilled staff you need to have a motivated staff you need to have a focused staff and this is where hrm will actually go around it because only when things are going right people will be happy they will be satisfied to develop and maintain a quality of work life you remember this is a work life that we are looking into is that means the ambience of the work station would be absolutely perfect the shop floor would be spick and span everybody would love to work out there to communicate the hr policies of the employees that we look into is to be ethically and socially responsible of the needs of the society in particular with the audiences in particular with the employees that we are looking into it so that means complete compliance with the legal legal standards and ethical standards so we provide an opportunity for expression basically at times what happens is the employee comes the staff come delivers the duties and pushes off and this goes mundane affair but then people will start losing interest so what is one way to engage them is to he make them hear it out make them speak out their mind if there are any issues we can sort it out we can nip it at the very bud so to provide a fair acceptable and should i say transparent leadership and last but not least is to establish a definitive sound structures of an organization wherein every mechanism for any kind of issues are been clearly stated be it grievance be it disciplinary be it financial be it emotional even for that matter if it is a medical issue you should have got stringent procedures stringent measures in place and everybody should be aware of it so these are the objectives which lets the organization achieve its goal at with one another remember so we have to have good hr practices good hr practices because this helps in attaining and retaining wonderful employees wonderful employees the the unproductive employees if they leave the organization it is not detrimental but if productive employees leaves the organization it is detrimental so practices helps in retaining talented employees train people for succession planning or for future or responsibilities for challenging roles we need to develop the skills and com competencies promote a sense of well being and loyalty towards the family that uh, towards the family of the organization that is what we are looking at it and in terms of team spirit in terms of productivity in terms of profit remember a well oiled machinery works 
without any noise and that is what human resources would all be looking into it human resources or employees i am completely saying i am obligating the word employees and i'm utilizing the word human resources so human being are to be termed that resources which is a vital component of the production process altogether so this will lead to job satisfaction definitely yes job satisfaction means retain tenure enhance standard of living not only work life but also their personal life people are going to earn more people are going to live a comfortable life and that is what we are looking into it generate employment opportunities why because the business grows right once the business start growing and it means that when we have greater terms that needs to be taken care of so this is what the original size of the business was and then there is an enhanced thing so we have generated a lot of employment opportunities and mutual trust and respect and looking at it so here comes the environmental factors what is it we are looking into it we are talking about the economic environment this is in terms of demography that we are looking at the market condition that we are looking at the overall average salary of the particular country that we are looking at we can always have the quality of work life and the standard of living that can be prioritized then there is something called inflationary measures that is coming around it in terms of legal environment what comes under legal environment that means there is a fair chances of everybody getting selected and everybody's disputes or grievances has been heard fairly and squarely there are no discrimination in the name of sex in the name of gender in the name of culture in the name of color of the skin in the name of anything any orientations and so on and so forth so we are talking about it that we look out here we have to say about exactly what we are looking at we will be talking about the technological environment out here definitely yes what is the technological environment it tell, talks about the electronic communication uh, we will be talking the factors that comes around here we will talk about communicating with anyone in the organization absolutely anyone in the organization global mirroring global monitoring absolutely with the closed circuit television cameras that we can go around it can we can, can we have a transparency out there that is what of major thing issues that comes around here then we have the social and cultural issues that comes around here which is an expectation of the society the social status of the job the achievement of the work and so on and so forth this is what is very important coming for the uh, emerging issues now this are the emerging issues remember this is the issues that which are coming around it let us talk about the increasing size of the workforce with better payments better benefit and number of opportunities which has been springing up with similar organization be coming into existence then we are talking about the composition of workforce nowadays we have 20 plus something working with 60 plus somebody in the teams the raising that is needs to be the composition now we see there is a influx of the female genders in the workforce they are at par with the male genders not only in terms of number but in terms of the weightage of the salaries is also about it we are talking about the expectation people are getting educated and expecting more demanding more be it financial and non financial they want to have their skin in the game absolutely that is what we looking into it advent of technology has changed everything with let's say in, in terms of automation modernization computerization things have been percolated to every every levels of the employee everybody comes to know of the happening in the organization be it through the media be it through the uh, grapevines be it through the rumors whatever you look look into it a lot of technology has made things a lot of transparency the lifestyle changes have gone in people have become mobile while people have become educated people have become secure people have become communicable and so on so forth this that is what we are looking at out here so this is what we need to go around it people are not not only open to uh, job locations uh, shift but probably uh, shift in a career altogether so all the parameters you want to go around it environmental challenges that we comes around uh, which we need to go around here which plus probably we'll talk about this in the point uh, that has been mentioned a burdens of training and development comes around it so we'll talk about the personal things which is job design career opportunities and so on so forth. that needs to be taken care of next comes the role and responsibilities of hr prof, uh, professional what is it nowadays hr has been moved into a strategic hr issue which is to be identified and dealt with adequately that is what is important uh, with things 
we have becoming proactive actions developing integrated hr system which is well balanced without the lack of coherence or unity in the function working as a change engine must perceive the needs for change this is what is must require marketing hr potential must have a ability to prove their contributions to the enterprises which is outsourcing of hr functions business instruct external suppliers to take responsibilities and risk so let us focus again one thing it's the longer term portion that we are looking into it no longer are we looking as uh, waiting for the problem to arise we should be proactive in a fa fashion rather than being reacting we are trying to develop integrate with all the competitors all the environmental a sense of uh synchrony between the different function working as a change agent and marketing as a hr potential last but not the least employee levels can be outsourced also we are looking at temporary alternative hiring into it so this is what the hr planning is all about it manpower planning is a process which include forecasting developing implementing and controlling this is very important in which a firm utilizes a number of factors to have the right person at the right place at the right time doing the work which is productive towards the organization i again reiterate that forecasting developing implementing and controlling with the help of the hr if people can plan it out and have the right person at the right job at the right time it mitigates a lot of so on and so forth and to assess the cost of manpower so this is the economic cost that we are looking as in for the human resource planning is we will talk about the importance of human resource planning what are they first and foremost thing is they are the reservoir of talent they will tell me how many people are required and how many people are being required for the futures as such which needs to be motivated develop we can expand or contract this continuous supply probably cut cost hr budgets and succession planning that comes around it so reservoir of talent is retaining skill employees preparing future for uh, people for future things and so on so forth now we'll talk about the effective of human resource planning what do they do about it it helps in top management support it helps in building a skill inventory that is there with the um, uh, the organization we need to maintain a skill inventory that every every employee possesses probably and have an hr is or human resource data system that comes around it so we have a lot of skill so we have the human resource planning out here what is coming around it first and foremost thing is that organizational objective based on organizational objective we need to plan for how many people are required in the hr planning modalities this is which which can be done with the forecasting of the human need and the supply that is available so where the supply is got to go around it if the requisites there might be a huge supply of resources but they are not adequately scaled doesn't makes it uh, happy you know it is as good as redundant so we need to understand those gaps around it the surplus of human resources the shortage of human resources in terms of quantities in terms of numbers in terms of skills in terms of no technical know how and how to bridge those gap is what the human resource planning would always be talking around it we are then looking at the hr processes that comes across it there are basically five processes this goes around is at deciding the objective of hr planning we talk about the estimating futures of the organizational structures and manpower manpower audit as to what are the people that is required job analysis definitely yes and developing the human resource planning so right from the point of deciding we come to the last point of ending uh, as to developing the plan is the hr planning process is all about it so deciding upon it estimating the requirement having an audit of what you have and what you are missing make analysis of the job and developing the human resource planning we will talk about the four uh, objectives of human resource thing a b c d and e so this is these are the five thing that comes around it so objectives of hr planning is fitting the employee ability to enterprise requirement estimating future organization structures and manpower requirement definitely yes manpower audit skill requirement now in terms of audit and skill requirement is what we have in terms of personal factors the degree the school the pedigree that you have gone around it any requisite experiences that the uh, gentlemen or the ladies have any other info that can be of 
great determination as to the quality of the manpower that we're looking out of in terms of various disciplinary records, in terms of career plans, in terms of appraisal data, in terms of test scores and so on and so forth. Job analysis is where we define the job altogether. What are the qualities required, capabilities required, qualification required, technical know-how required because based on the job analysis is the job description which tells me exactly what is expected to be done in the job. Job specification is on the other hand would be what kind of person who is going to be the perfect fit for the job. So that tells me from the job analysis. So job analysis have got these two offshoot that comes around it with job description and job specification. Last but not the least would be developing the human resource plan and this is where the implementation takes place most importantly. So remember these are what the vital aspects of human resource management planning is all about. We come to the last slide of the day probably is where we place them, place the human resource person altogether onto a job. It is an actual posting of an employee vis-a-vis -vis the virtual things or you've been actually thinking of doing it so. So it's actual posting. It gives a specific task responsibility to an employee. Decisions are matching requirement of the job with the qualification of the candidate that needs to be that taken care of. Organization put new recruits on probation on period and definitely needs to be monitored on a close to close basis because this will let you know about how effective your hiring or HR management is process is all about it. This I come to an end of this video. Thank you for watching this.